I'm a tiny tiger in a brave new world Gonna free this town If you didn't know about me already Well, you know it went now Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Objectivist Girl and that song you just heard is my new song, Shrug. And I'm filming at the Free State Project headquarters, so this is the Free State Project flag behind me. And today I'm going to talk to you about the method to my madness um, and how I'm going to teach you objectivism. So I'm going to introduce you to my whiteboard. Literally, guys, this is uh, my whiteboard. I'm really not sure whose it is. I just kind of picked it up and erased all the information, so hopefully it wasn't important. Um, this is why my roommate shouldn't leave things laying around. Okay, the first box is metaphysics. So metaphysics is the study of existence and what exists. So it's important for any objectivist student to know that existence exists. This is the axiom that her philosophy rests on. And an axiom is a self-evident truth. So um, I'll be using Aristotle's philosophy to discuss metaphysics. She doesn't actually discuss metaphysics. She rests it on Aristotle's philosophy. So I'm going to go ahead and use Aristotle to teach that first. So the next box is epistemology. Epistemology is the study of knowledge. So it's important for any objectivist student to know that knowledge is knowable. And this rests on the axiom that existence exists, that self-evident truth. And so we can only prove that knowledge is knowable from the axiom that existence exists. Without a world where existence exists, knowledge is not necessarily knowable. So I'm going to talk about that after I talk about metaphysics. The next box is ethics. Ethics is a big one. This is what most philosophers talk about, and they skip epistemology and metaphysics, which is why I normally disregard other people's philosophies because they're not rested on, the ac on an axiom that existence exists, um, which is something that I will be talking to you about in the future. Not this video, but it's a very in-depth conversation. So uh, this is just the skeleton, the core to, to what I'm talking about. So in any objectivist student should know that ethics are objective, which means that there is a right answer to any conundrum. And we're also going to talk about the objectivity and subjectivity of right and wrong with this, because that's a very important discussion to understanding things like good and bad and right and wrong. And Ayn Rand has a lot to say on that, and so do I. So I'm going to talk to you about ethics in depth, and we know that ethics is objective, because of the fact that knowledge is knowable. And we know knowledge is knowable because existence exists. So as you can see, this kind of all leads up in the hierarchy. Because knowledge is knowable, we can know the right and wrong answers to any conundrum. And we have to make proper decisions. And that leads me to my last box. Politics. Yes, I know. Politics is horrible. It's it's my favorite conversation, so that's actually not true. So politics is, uh, it's important for any objectivist student to understand that Ayn Rand's philosophy is grounded on the idea that capitalism and laissez-faire economics are the only correct conclusions for government and for politics. Uh, politics is the study of uh, state nation and government and politics and policies of government. Um, because existence exists, knowledge is knowable, and ethics are objective, we can know for a fact that there's a proper role of government. There's a good way, ethical way, for the government to be in the lives of the people. And again, this was just the core to my philosophy. This is my personal teaching method. This is not necessarily the method of the community. In fact, I believe I've created this method. Don't quote me on that though. So this is just the core to what I will be teaching in the future. And this concludes my second video and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and again, please tell me in the comment section below, what is it that you shrugged today? I'm very excited to hear from my subscribers as always. And below, I'll have included a link to the Free State Project if you want to sign up or find out more information. I also included a link to my Facebook, Twitter, and blog where you'll be hearing even more from me. 
and uh, a link to my music where you can hear my song Shrug, which will hopefully be in Atlas Shrug Part 3, the movie. And finally, I just want to remind you that knowledge is not for all men, but for those who seek it. So keep seeking.